Welcome back to the 22nd annual Goof Awards, spotlighting the silliest, the most salacious, and the most ridiculous scandals and celebrities of 2013. Let's get back to the nominees. Paula Dean and Nigella Lawson, two of the most famous, successful, and powerful foodie personalities in the world, were rocked by scandals. We learned that Dean had used the N-word and held a slavery-themed party years ago. And if that's not bad enough, her clumsy, disingenuous apologies just made it worse. Everybody. Uh, for the wrong that I've done. Uh... Meanwhile, Lawson's refuting charges. She was heavy into drugs saying, hey, cocaine users would never look as hot as she does. Good defense. Chris Brown, how's that whole anger management thing working out for you, Chris? Alec Baldwin, how's that whole anger management thing working out for you, Alec? I asked you a question. You get okay, get the out of here. Anthony Weiner and Sidney Leathers. Our boy Anthony decided to skip the whole image rehabilitation thing and run for mayor of New York City, and then he seemed offended when the media and the minions kept asking him about his sexting problem. And then there was poor, pathetic Sidney Leathers, Weiner's sexting buddy, who actually believed she was going to be a genuine, lasting celebrity because the media were interested in her for about a minute and a half. Like I said, I had the man on a pedestal. You know, he was a hero of mine. Another nominee this year, internet petitioners protesting movie casting decisions. Ben Affleck is Batman. Let's start a petition. Charlie Hunnam is Christian Grey. Wah! Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman, but her boobs aren't big enough. If you're getting all worked up on Twitter and you're participating in these campaigns to protest the casting of actors in movies based on soft porn novels or comic books, this is an intervention you need to go outside and play. Worthy contenders won and all, but this was one of those years where there was one goof to rule them all, one goof who was so goofy the race wasn't even that close. The 2013 goof goes to Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. The Canadian Chris Farley invoked the rare who knows what I do in my drunken stupor's defense to explain away allegations of crack use. Yes, I have smoked crack cocaine. When, but sir? no, do I? Am I an addict? No. When have you? Have I tried it? Um, probably in one of my drunken stupors. Oh, and let's look at all the other greatest hits. Multiple reports of a video showing Ford smoking crack. Numerous incidents of Ford appearing extremely intoxicated at public events. Admissions of drinking and driving. Swearing at reporters camped outside his house. A viral video in which Ford rants about a foe and bellows, I need 10 bleeping minutes to make sure he's dead. I need 10 minutes to make sure he's dead. Allegations of racial slurs and sexually inappropriate behavior. All of that and more, yet Ford keeps saying what he's done is in the past, which is actually true, and he's not perfect, and hey, everyone's done stuff like this, right? Well, not everyone, and among mayors of major cities, probably more like no one other than you, you big goof.